हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज अतुल घाडगे एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सर्कुलर फ्लो ऑफ इनकम इन अ क्लोज इकोनॉमी टू सेक्टर इकोनॉमी विदाउट सेविंग सो द सर्कुलर फ्लो ऑफ इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर एक्सप्लेन्स द प्रोसेस दैट डिटरमाइंस नेशनल इनकम एंड नेशनल आउटपुट साइमल्टेनियसली इन एन इकोनॉमी कंज्यूमर स्पेंड देयर इनकम ऑन गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस produced by business and production units the functioning of the economy depends on the interaction between firms and households the cost to the firms are incomes to the households generally in an economy there are two players that is households and firms and both are uh, depends on each other in a national income we consider these two players that is households and uh, uh, firms crucial they are very important for the purpose of uh, generation of uh, national income and they are promoting uh, development of an economy households are the owner of factors of production and as i told you already they are owners of factors factors of production which consist of land labor capital and entrepreneur they supply the service of these factors to those who make use of them to produce goods and services firms are the producing units and decides what to produce where to produce how to produce how much to produce and for whom to produce goods and services by using the services of factors of production supplied by the households now there are certain assumptions uh, for this uh, module they are as the economic consist of two sectors that is households and firms second production takes place only in the firms third one households receive their incomes in the form of rent wages interest and profits the entire income is spent on purchase of goods and services that is there is no saving firms supply goods and services as per demand and do not ment- maintain any inventory there uh, there are no government operations that is no government expenditure and taxes in the economy there is no international economic relations there is no outflow and inflow of goods and services and money capital making the economy as a closed closed one so these are the certain assumptions on that basis we will discuss two sector economy with the help of diagram so as you can see uh, diagram uh, on your screen that is uh if you see upper part of the diagram that is indicating factor market and lower part indicating commodity market now if you see uh, upper part here as i told you already there are two places in the economy that is household and firms so if you see upper part that is factors of production which consist of land labor capital and entrepreneur so these all factors of productions are owned by the households so these are the things which are owned by the households now uh, firms second player is firms so firms are who are, who are a firms firms are the firms are the player who are producing firms are the producers they do produce goods and services they convert raw into final uh, final uh, goods so for producing goods and services we require inputs and that inputs are nothing but these factors land labor capital and entrepreneurs so what households do they give these all factors of productions to the firms you can see arrows which are going towards the firms which consist of land labor capital and entrepreneurship so here households are the owner of factors of production and they give that all factors of productions to the firm and in return firms are giving certain uh, certain uh, incomes to the households that is if you think about wages here factor income this is the income for the factor which given by the households okay to the firms so why it is factor income because it is income for factors of production okay so here uh, labor sir uh, sorry wages are received by the households when they give their labors so against labor we can see a wages rent for the purpose of giving of land whenever households give land to the firms uh, they are receiving a rent in return that is uh, your factor uh, income then capital uh, here you can see a uh, interest uh, for inter- uh, for capital whatever capital given by the households to the firms for that 
purpose they receives the uh, capital uh, sorry interest rate and at the same time last that that is what the entrepreneurship for entrepreneurship they are receiving okay part of a profit so this is what i would say exchange of uh, uh, inputs and against inputs certain returns are there that is what your factor income so that's why here uh, entire transaction is happening uh by considering factors of production and that's why it is called as a factor market because here transaction is taking place of your factors of production now whatever inputs received by the uh, firms using that uh, inputs using that factors of production firm they produce a goods and services you can see over here factor users and producers of goods and services so it means that firms are producing the goods and services over here and after production of a goods and services they do sell it in a market so if you see lower part here you can see clearly that is flow of goods and services so after production of a commodities and services they do okay uh, flow or they do sell it to the to whom if you see your arrows you will realize that it is going towards the household so household purchases household purchases goods and services which are sold by the firms okay and for that purpose here households are paying okay uh, prices for the goods and services which they are purchasing so here if you see uh, payments for goods and services which are going towards the firm so here what is happening here it is uh, here uh, exchange or transaction is happening of goods and services okay and that's why it's called as a commodity market what is happening over here exchange of final goods here here if you talk about factor market it is a transaction of a raw it is a transaction of i would say inputs but if you talk about commodity market it is the transaction of a finalized goods goods whereas that can be used directly without any further procedure so flow of goods and services towards the household and for that purpose whatever goods and services received by the households for that purpose they are making payments to the firms in the form of okay uh, according to the price of goods and services so in short here in two sector model in a closed economy in simple economy without saving we can see two players that is what households and firms they do exchange initially factors of production as i already mentioned that is land labor capital and entrepreneurship using that inputs firms are producing goods various goods and services as as they uh, as they are producing the goods and services and they are sold to the households so this is what the simple uh, two sector economy without the saving and uh, i hope you have understood the mechanism of uh, two sector economy without the saving where uh, there are only two players thank you very much